Hey YouTube comic community, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado, and we're talking about Spider-Mans from the Monster Marvel comic collection that I bought. Stay tuned. Thank you for clicking play on the video. I'd like to ask you to click the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so that you can get alerted every time we bring out great content. Thanks. So, there was a lot of Spider-Mans in this. So much so that we're going to have to split this Spider-Man run into two videos. And I'm just showing the keys. But we're going to start off this one with Silver Age Spider-Man books. Starting with, and this was my favorite out of all of them, the first appearance of the, of the lizard, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man number six. Now, this one's a little beat up. Uh, it's got a spine roll and some other stuff, but... Obviously, getting anything in under 10 uh, on Spider-Man is going to be rough, right? It's going to be tough to get, and it's going to be tough to get in any kind of really good grades. But it's, you know, it's probably between a 3 and a 4, so once it's uh, taken care of. So I'm not worried about that. And then we also have issue number 17. Uh, sadly, they skipped over, uh, you know, the first Mysterio, the first Green Goblin, and the first appearance of Kraven. You can't win them all, right? But there's still enough in here to really make it worthwhile in the first place. But this is issue number 17. This is the second appearance of the Green Goblin uh, that you can see there on the cover. Uh, keeping with the Green Goblin, or keeping with the, that, that run, uh, you've got issue number 18. Now, what's key about this, this is the first appearance of Ned Leeds, right? Ned Leeds is currently being portrayed uh, by Jacob Batalon in the Spider-Man movies for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and there is talk about him taking on his alter ego upcoming here. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that, right? But if you're going to go after some, uh, some early stuff, sure, the first Hobgoblin is a nice book to get, but it's not Ned Leeds. This is the first Ned Leeds, and that's Amazing Spider-Man number 17. Wait, 17, 18, 18, 18, number 18. Check me out that one. Now, this was my probably my favorite book from the collection. And the reason for it is it's super high grade. It's issue number 20, and it's the first appearance of Mac Gargan as the Scorpion. This is probably easily a VF. So I'm really looking forward to this guy going off to CGC and getting slabbed. So we'll get to see that big reveal upcoming soon. All right. So we got those. Now let's see what other crazy goodness we got from this collection. Here we go. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 25. This is the first cameo appearance of Mary Jane Watson, and I believe also the first appearance of Spencer Smythe, who makes the, uh, the Spider Slayer armor. Um, follow that up with issue number 31. The first appearance of Gwen Stacy as well as the first appearance of Harry Osborn. Now, this book is incredibly undervalued. And when I say incredibly undervalued, I mean incredibly undervalued. With all of the crazy uh, prices going for the new character Spider-Gwen, well, I say new, she's been out for a few years, but Spider-Gwen, first appearance, Edge of Spider-Verse 2, is going for like over $1,000 at a 9.8. And this book has barely seen a significant increase. And this is the first appearance of the character that that one was based off of, Gwen Stacy. So if you can find it, get that book soon because somebody, the, the, the market's going to figure out soon enough that that book is undervalued and it's going to start exploding. All right. Coming up, this is probably one of the most classic Spider-Man covers ever made. This is issue number 33 uh, featuring the uh, Spider-Man crushed under the, uh, under the, uh, in the sewer underneath a, a, a bunch of uh, mechanical equipment uh, and the water is coming in. This was slightly homaged in uh, um, the Spider-Man uh, Homecoming movie uh, after he fights uh, the vulture uh, before he goes to prom or doesn't actually go to prom or go to Homecoming. Um, and then this one, this book has actually been climbing up pretty good. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 37. This is the first appearance of Norman Osborn. Now, why, why is that significant? Because we only learn that Norman Osborn is the Green Goblin later on, right? So you've got 14, which is the first appearance of the Green Goblin, and then you've got 37, which is the first appearance of Norman Osborn. 
But that's issue 37, right? And then right after that, within a couple of issues, you get issue number 39 with this phenomenal John Romita cover, right? It's his first work on Spider-Man. It's a great cover. It's been homaged I don't know how many times. But then you find out here in issue 40 that Spider-Man finds out that the Green Goblin is Norman Osborn, and Norman Osborn finds out that uh, Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker, regardless of what that cover is actually showing. So, gr two great books, two huge keys in the Spider-Man mythos. I mean, they're not key in terms of you've got a new uh, character or anything, but they're big keys in terms of what happens in those events there, and the covers are fantastic. All right, following that issue, we get another big one. We get first appearance of the Rhino. Now, I'm showing this as a stand-in because this book I actually already sold to somebody else. Uh, and I'll show that in our uh, upcoming video uh, where I show off some of the some of the keys that I've already had slapped. And we'll find out what that actually is. But number 41 is there. This one is actually uh, the right one. This is issue number 42. Now this is the full actual first appearance of Mary Jane Watson. This is the one where she says, face it, Tiger, you just hit the jackpot, has the iconic panel in the back, and it's the second appearance of the Rhino as well. Um, sadly, that's the one that kind of, kind of gets, uh, you know, over-speculated, but uh, it is actually the first appearance of Mary Jane. First, first, I'd say, I'd say it's the first full appearance of her, because they've been cameoing it uh, a ton. Um, and then the last one we have here is this is the first cover appearance of Mary Jane. Uh, so we actually get to see her finally on a cover. And that's all we have for this video. Thank you for, uh, again, clicking play and watching with us. Uh, and we'll be back with more Spider-Man greatness coming up soon. Thanks.